right on until when Pastor Maher was speaking. That's when the title expired. I, I wanted to preach on faith and its characteristics. But I'm given something else. Maybe for someone, it may be one person. And I don't have notes of it. Uh, I just have the inspiration of it. So I'm putting my diary here. And uh, I just speak to you in this way. My title is on verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. In Christ. My title is God bless you. God bless you, God bless you, Pastor. 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 God bless you, Sister. God bless you, Brother. God bless you, Sister. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. We can go home. God bless you. Receive your blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible is saying here, blessed be the God in front of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us. So God bless you. Receive your blessings. Amen. There's nothing more that can be added to that. Because the Bible says, whatsoever God is doing, He doeth it forever that men should fear Him. Nothing can be taken from it, and nothing can be added to it. Whatever God says, that's what it is. And you bless Him today. You worship Him today. You praise Him today. You worship Him today. You shout hallelujah. You shall thank you, Jesus, there. Whatsoever God doeth, He doeth it forever. That man should fear Him. Nothing can be added to it, and nothing taken away from it. And God does that. That man should fear Him. And God does that. Hallelujah. That we fear him. What is him serve? Amen. Amen. You see this prophet who was hired to curse Israel. He was promised a chariot full of diamonds and things. And he tried to curse. They could not be cursed. He tried this other angle. They could not be cast. He changed their position. Still want to cast them. They could not be cast. This is why you see so many things. You have been coming into your life from all different angles. But you are still here and you are still standing. You are still believing the message of the heart. So many things. That were very driving forces to take you out from church. But you are still here today. Your hand is still up in the air. So many things surrounding you. So many things that were surrounding you. That could have caused you to blaspheme. That could have caused you to curse God. Remember Job and his situation. Until his own wife came to him with such with kind of like a good idea. But that was the worst idea ever. Still Job knew where he was standing. He said even though the skin worms will destroy this body yet in the very same flesh I not another 
Even if the condition is the way it's looking like now, you in the very same person, you are going to see the Lord. You are going to see the Messiah. You are going to see God in your life. For I know that my Redeemer liveth. Do you know that the Redeemer liveth today? Do you know that your healer liveth today? Do you know that your provider liveth today? In that very situation, you not another. You are going to see God. No matter what is surrounding you, no matter what you are facing, no matter the negative situation, no matter the opposition, no matter the persecution, you are going to see God anyhow. No matter the pain, you're going to see God anyhow. No matter the suffering, you're going to see God anyhow. No matter the sickness, no matter what the doctor says, we are not here to listen to the preaching of the doctor. We are not looking at the report of the doctor. We are not looking and waiting to hear the report from the home affairs. If God said you're going to stay in South Africa, there's no one in South Africa that will take you out from South Africa. We are here by predestination. The footsteps of the righteous are ordered of the Lord. You tell me who was supposed to be the pastor of the people that I saw in their numbers in Benon. So there's no way God can take away the shepherd to scatter the sheep away. You tell me who pastor was supposed to pastor those people because some of them they have got permanent residence and in the, in the books of God they are pastor it's written refty. Some of them they are here, they are South Africans. And in the records of Almighty God, they are pastor. It's Reverend T. It's refty. Some of the people in Regent Park, they are here to stay. And in these records here, they are pastor. It's not Lord Chinamasa. They are pastor. It's not Pastor Soren But it's Pastor Tim and the That's what's in the records of Almighty God. So your situation. Must you tally with what is written here? Your life, your body, must you cooperate with the written word? Remember, there's something already written about you. There's something already written about your life. Here in the Bible. And it says, let every man's word be a lie. And God's word be the truth. So if God saw you sitting there, you have to be there. If God says, by my stripes you are healed, you have to be healed. Even if cancer comes upon you, no, it's only coming for certain scriptures to be identified and to be manifested that we cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ because there are certain demons that need to be casted out and they can only be casted out when they touch a believer that's where we find the opportunity and this afternoon I find it as an opportunity to preach to you today this afternoon I find it as an opportunity to cast out those devils. This afternoon, no, find it as an opportunity to cast them away. 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 I say cast them away. 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 Cast them. Cast them. Cast them. I say it's an opportunity. Take it as an opportunity. I say it's an opportunity. Because they need to be casted away. And you are there to cast it away. You are there to cast it away. You are there to cast it away. Because you are a believer. With a promise in Mark 16. In my name. Amen. You shall cast out devils. Cast them away. In my name. You shall cast out devils. Cast them away. 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 Get them behind me. Get them behind me. Get them behind me. Get them behind me. 
Get it. Get it behind. Get it behind. Set it. I say cast it. Cast it. Cast it. There was a war in heaven. Michael and the dragon. There was a war. This war never started here. It started in heaven. And we know what happened. We know the outcome. We know the results. There was found no place for the devil. There was found no place for him. I don't see the reason why we can find a place for the devil. Even in this church, I don't see the reason why. If he died, he was casted out from heaven. You can cast him out of your house. If he was casted out from heaven, you can cast him out of your body. If he was casted out from heaven, you can cast him out of your children. If he was casted out from heaven. You can cast him out of the church. Cast him out of your church. Cast him out of your congregation. Cast him out of from your congregation. Cast him out from your congregation. Cast him out from this congregation. Cast him out from this congregation. Cast him out from your congregation. Cast him out from your congregation. You have a right to cast him away. Because God casted him away. God never found a place for him. I don't see a place for the devil in my boat. Where exactly? Should he stay? Tell me where exactly should he be staying? Where exactly should he be staying? I see some of you have got a chair to sit. Tell me the devil's chair. Violence. Yes, Two.
the former late president if you, don't, if you don't want to go peacefully we will remove you violently if the devil doesn't want to go peacefully we will remove him violently and violently you take it by force Tell the devil you need peace. If you don't, you know what the good thing about the devil. Finally, he will go. Amen. Finally, he will let you go. You know this demon that is talks and do this and that. It's not the first time for them to speak. In the days of the Lord, they were challenging him. You hold your peace. Don't talk a lot of stories. Hold your peace and come out. You don't allow the devil to tell you a lot of stories. Uh, you know you are this and that. You are this. And that. When did the devil ever told the truth? The lion, the father of Christ. When did he ever tell you the truth? He tells you you are sick. When the Bible says by his stripes you are healed. He tells you you are a sinner. When you are. But the Bible says he was wounded for transgression. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know even this issue of condemnation, you must not even condemn yourself? You must know who caused you to do that. Yeah. Who caused you to do that? Yeah. It's not even you. Yeah. Yeah. That was the devil yeah. who came to you. Yeah. The way he came to Eve. Yeah. 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 And beguiled her. Yeah. Yeah. The prophet says he fooled Mother Eve. Yeah. He's fooling the daughters now. He beguiled our mother. Beguiling the children. But there's no truth in him. That's and if we really want even to trace it back, it's Adam and Eve. Adam no Eve. Who sold us into this? Yeah. You were only born in sin. Yeah. Shaped in iniquity. Yeah. Came to the world speaking lies. It's not you who started even this issue of smoking cigars. Yeah. No. It's already in your genes. Yeah. You are born again. Yeah. Change that human nature to bring deity in you. And when deity comes, it's no longer you. But greater is it that is now in you than it that is in the world. You know, if you take this little boy here, and you build him a nice house. Yeah. Even before he comes to this age. And you build a very tall jura hole. Yeah. 20 meters high. Yeah. And you don't allow him to go to the shops and do everything. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. go yeah. to school. He yeah. yeah. school yeah. 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 there. He is not saved. He is not saved. I wonder with people who, if the pastor say, come, I want to talk to you, and then run away. You don't run away from God with a Mercedes Benz. You don't run away from God with a jet. With South African Airways. South African Airways. He knows when we are even going to, to, to book the ticket. When Jonah was told to go to Nineveh, 
the very moment so God began to prepare a wind to deal with that ship you don't run away with the ship from God the only way is to come to him and say I have wandered away from home but now I am coming home you run away from God without a teaser no you don't do that with a jeep and a BMW the pastor said come let's talk come let's reason to go this issue is the issue you saw the pastor driving from this side running away from God with the BMW and VW no God knows that you are in a BMW you are even worsening the situation if you wish you are going to end up in problem with that BMW you better repent cut the story short You, I say the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you, Christian friend. God bless you, Christian brother. Bless you with what? Bless you with your heart desire. Bless you with what? Bless you with your request. Bless you with what? Bless you with healing. Bless you with what? Bless you with a job. Bless you with what? Bless you with a salvation of the church. When your children are saved, when you are saved, say thank God I'm blessed. When you get a job, say thank God I'm blessed. When you receive your healing, say thank God I'm blessed. It's not a shortcut to give you your healing. When you are blessed, and behold, I have received a command. I have received a command to bless you. The government can reverse it. I have received a command. To bless you, the government can reverse it. I have received a commandment to bless you, and I cannot reverse it. The government can reverse it. No instructor can reverse it. Let me bless you, and when we bless you, we are done with sugar and diabetes. When we bless you, we are done with hypertension. When we bless you, we are done with death. Let me bless you. Let me bless you. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. And once you are blessed, you can't curse. What God has blessed. Once you are blessed, you can't curse. What God has blessed. This is why. Barak. Barak. When he came before Israel, he wanted to open his mouth. He determined to curse. He opened. He determined. He just heard. Behold, I beheld you know iniquity. You're holy. You're holy. You're a good people. You're a blessed church. You're a blessed family. You're a blessed congregation. You're a blessed people. You're a blessed nation. You're a blessed people. You're a blessed people. You're a blessed people. You're a blessed people. I have received the command to bless you. I have received the command to bless you. 
I'm blessing your marriage in the name of Jesus. Ministers of the gospel, I'm blessing your ministry. I'm blessing your ministry in the name of Jesus. I'm blessing your ministry. Your ministries are blessed. The prophet is guided on the first prayer. What happened? Bless him. He went into the second. You know what? Because I remain there. God blessed him. You listen to the third. Receive your blessings. You are going to pray for the sick. In your ministry. And then you cast out devils. You are going to see visions. You are going to have my spiritual gifts. In your ministry. You are going to have wonderful revival. In your churches. I speak in the name of Jesus. 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 I speak Let's go to the prophets of Daniel. Let's go to the Daniel. A huge portion of heaven awaits you there. Do you know the prophet was blessed? When he started, he used to hide away from people because of poverty. He used to greet them with the left hand and say, this is for my left hand, but this is closer to my heart. Hiding a patch, wearing one jacket, one jacket, that time is over. Of wearing one shirt. Wearing the same dress every single That time will pass. That time passes. That time passes. That time, that time, passes. That time, that time is gone. I say it's gone now. Till time for everything. Until today, ministers have gone to America. A number of them have come back with a shirt at least of Brother Brown. Until some are even overdoing it. They, he was so blessed until other preachers who are not really spiritual, who are not well balanced, they, they want to come balanced. with a piece of the pulpit. Yeah. <laughs> That's how blessed. Until everyone loves you. Well, they don't love you. Let me bless you. Even your enemies. They are going to speak well of you. They will love you. They will love you. Your enemies. This is Hey, James. Is that one. Um, you know, you know, uh, just told, just hey, his wife. There's no Murora like this one in me. There's no Murora like this one. There's no Murora like this one. There's no Murora like this one. There's no like this one. They will speak well of you. I know what I'm talking about. Sister, but your mother-in-law, you hear a testifying of her. I say, but hey, God gave us a wonderful daughter. In. You are no longer a daughter. You are the first born girl. You are the first born that's what the blessings yeah. does. How many believe? 
The blessings are pronounced. David was anointed, isn't it? And the men poured oh, oh, the anointing from the horn. He shook it. To make sure the whole anointing have gone on death. My Bible says, Oh, that was in God. It was poured into Christ. And all that was in Christ. Christ was poured into the church. I'm anointing ministers. When the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Then David left. And the people saw as if nothing had happened. You know where he went? Just to be a shepherd boy. That's how God does things. He went to beg to be a shepherd. Listen. Did that end like that? Watch that anointing. When the time came, Mom is cut his feet. Yes, now. They were, they were asked. Babus, as the children were passing to be to be anointed. And they said, no, "Don't we have someone else?" Let this one go. The one who was being held. Then he was told this one. But I know you see. But I know you are. A small boy. He's a shepherd boy. He doesn't know much after that. Oh, he said, I want to have a look at him. Bring him. Yes. What you have. That's what you're waiting for. The real people of the hour. Just come now. Yes, come now. The temple was never been manifested in the first place. The second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. The real people to re-experience that power. No wonder Daniel by inspiration. He said that time around. Those days are out. I wanted to be there. I was told to go my way. But those that know they are God. They are God. They shall do express. Let us do express of faith. Let us do express of Let us do express of What do you want? I give it to you. I bless you with it. This is the name of Jesus. Amen. This year, I think we must stop. Giving people jobs. First year, we have some jobs. We some jobs. We have some jobs. We have some jobs. We have some jobs. We have some jobs. We We want you to be employers. From employee to employers. How many believe that? Do you know you don't need money to start a business? Do you know you don't need money to start a business? Do you know you don't need money Another year, I started the grocery shop with forty U.S. dollars. Natale, imagine you grocery shop, imagine shop with grocery. I imagine you bought with a stock of twenty something thousand. Imagine I found my stock, imagine twenty something thousand. Another time, since that, I bought a little car. Natale, you bought a Nissan Almera. A Nissan, you imagine Almera. I bought it two thousand U.S. The value was supposed to be three point five. In I I saw my landlord driving it. That's where I said this is very dangerous, and you you get me well. Yeah. God spoke to me. And he said this gift. What's Not for you. Yeah. It's for the people. Yeah. But when you are in need. Yeah. Then, then I know very well if I'm preaching. Yes. But way back there, I was a little bit blind to it. I could give people money. And myself, I go to borrow. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I do. Receive it in the name of Jesus. But the moment you go, I take mine and I put it off. Amen. <laughs> But I'm not that character. That would just say, ah, 
There's a latest day this guy here. Ngothi ngemoto lephambili yena le. Ngiyefuna. Then next month I said that then I say I Bese mbona yenye nyanya nza. Ngoba ukhona ngiyenza noma be yini. But you need to have a certain car. Ke ufana ukuthi manje ke nesimilo thizini. So that one I said I want that car. Ngiyefuna le moto. It's very good the way it does for my mission. Okay. I said, I'll pay 2000. Nothing so but the 2000. So I approached him. He said, "No, no. This one I won't sell it." What are you going to change it? Then I but I knew I was going to drive it. Give me hands and say, "Shaye." I didn't fuss with him. As I'm listening now. So one time I went to preach to a certain church. Go sit down and show me the wind band. After I preached it was such a long service. We going to the end of the and the Holy Ghost was about to come. I could feel such a wave. Like like just below the ceiling there. I could tell something is just about to happen. But I really did know how to really bring it among the people. So I began to sing softly. Then the pastor came and said, "Oh, those, those that are rushing home, go quickly. Hamba quietly. Hamba ngukuthula." Then he gave some time for people to go out of the church. And the pastor said, "Deacons, close the door." He says, "When you go, you will not come back in." So if you remain, you will not also open the door until we are done. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. Just yeah. 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 But I was still standing on the pulpit and I, I, was I, I was not supposed to move. But I just said in my heart, and where should I rush to? To rush to, to, to make problems. Oh. I said, where?